import new variations. Now that we learned the options for the objects in the Lumion library, let's learn a very nice option when it comes to our imported models, which is new variations. What we are about to learn can work on any imported models. And that means we can have variations of our villa design or variation for small imported objects like this waterfall here. Let's learn the new variation options and apply it to that waterfall object. Let's first select our waterfall under the options of log groups and layers. We have this tiny button called import new variations. When we click that button, a window opens that allows us to select a new FBX file as a variation for that waterfall. Okay, let me get back to my waterfall model in 3D Max and change it like that. So I will have a wider waterfall with less height. Now let's go and export that model to FBX file and name it waterfall wide and press OK. Now let's get back to Lumion, select the waterfall and press import new variation. Select the waterfall wide.fbx and press open. Give it a name for the Lumion library and press OK. And now the new variation gets imported into Lumion. Now that button has numbers 1 and 2. And we can switch between 1 and 2 to switch between variations of that waterfall. Like that. Of course, variation 2 gets loaded as a totally new FBX with no materials applied yet. But we can go ahead and save all the materials we want as custom materials and apply them to the new variation just like that. And now we have variation 1 and 2 with their materials and we can switch between them easily like that. Note here if we make a variation for one copy of an imported model it will not make variation automatically to all the copies. Even if we make import variation in the other copy like that we would have to give that imported model a new name and work on the materials from the start. If we want to fix that in our case, we will have to make the variation first and fix the materials and everything. Then we will delete the other copies and copy the one with the variation options set correctly in it. And now they both have variations 1 and 2. And you can add even more variations to that model if you like, like variation 3, 4, 5 and so on. We can use variation options while rendering photos or even videos. And this can be very useful. Let's see how it goes. If we press photo to take a shot, there is an effect inside FX under objects category called variation control. When we click it, that effect will be added to our photo. That variation control effect has a slider to slide between variations. But first we have to press edit here to select the objects that will be affected by that effect. Click on that point here to make it tick, then this waterfall will be affected. And also click the point on the other one 
and both are now affected by the effect and press OK. Now back to our photo. Let me store camera like that. We can now control variation in this shot whether it is one or two. Simply like that. Same applies in video, but in movie we can even change that variations in the middle of the movie. Let's see how. Let's record a new movie in the front like that. Now let's add a variation control effect. Press edit and select our waterfalls and press OK. Now in movie we can move in time like that and press create keyframe. And in that point in time we can change variation to 2. Go to the beginning, create keyframe and change variation to 1. And while the animation is moving, we can change variation that easily. Imagine what we can do with that. And that was import new variation options in our imported models. One of the powerful tools that we can use to render many variations of objects in our project.